Hi everyone, so let's try to identify the difference between client side rendering and server side rendering in this video. In the previous video, we just talked about the basic introduction about Next.js. So, what is client side rendering and what is server side rendering, right? And we will try to identify what Next.js is trying to solve for us, okay? So, this is server side rendering. What happens with server side rendering is server is sending ready to be rendered html page to the browser okay so it has all the required things which need to be rendered on the browser and browser render the page directly and then that page is directly viewable on the ui a javascript still need to be downloaded and executed so then browser downloads the javascript okay and then browser execute react and your now page is now interactable okay the only difference here is the server is sending ready-made HTML to be rendered. Okay, it's not like you are sending JSX and then it is getting compiled and then all these things. Server is sending ready to be rendered HTML. So whenever that document is ready, you start seeing the page on the browser. That is the difference, right? And then it download the JavaScript. It will interpret. It will execute the React code and it will make your page interactable. So your page is interactable only at the fourth phase. Here you can in the second phase you can start looking into the screen you can see okay UI is building up and you can see UI but interaction is happening only in the phase 4 okay similarly if you talk about the client side rendering the only thing is here is the delay because server is not sending ready to be rendered HTML you are getting the artifacts JavaScript then HTML then CSS all these artifacts you are getting you are not getting HTML you are just getting the bundle dot css bundle dot js file so browser need to run first download all the javascript and css files once that down browser download is happens browser downloads the javascript first it downloads the css and all then browser execute react code right now because you downloaded the react all the libraries from the webpack bundle which is having all javascript code in a single bundle or maybe a multiple bundles okay then browser has now everything it has downloaded it now it start executing it and now your page is becoming visible and it is also interactable because now javascript also executed react also executed so the only difference between both these approaches you can see in the second approach your page is interactable and viewable only at the fourth phase but here your page is visible from the second phase but interaction you can do only at the phase four but that is a difference right you can start seeing what is coming up on the page here you are downloading a lot of things javascript html css and then your page is becoming visible or interactable at the phase four okay so that is the major difference with the client side rendering and server side rendering now you can see pros and cons of server side rendering is uh, in server side rendering search engine can crawl your site for better search engine optimization right uh, cons is, is you are making a frequent request for every whenever you are switching to a next page you are making a request to another page downloading the content right so overall slow page rendering is happening right and rich UI interaction is not happening at the early phases that is happening only once you downloaded the HTML JavaScript also downloaded and has been executed right so client side rendering rich site interaction fast website rendering after initial load the only difference is in client side rendering initial initially it will take time but once it is executed once it has downloaded the content it will execute and it will make things available and interactable both together right so cons of client side rendering is the low search engine optimization if not implemented correctly right Initial load might require more time because we are loading JavaScript styles or all, all these things together, right? So in most cases, it requires an external library to optimize all these things. Like you can, you have, you will be doing a split chunking. You will be creating a split chunks of CSS and JavaScript and trying to optimize the initial load of your page using using like dynamic uh, loading of the modules split chunking where you are creating a multiple chunks for each and every page and then loading what is required on the home page but the difference is this 
In server side rendering, you are able to see everything initially and page start becoming interactable at the fourth phase. But when you want to show the content to the user in the early phase, server side rendering is good enough and search engine optimization, if there is a need, then next days is a good choice. I mean, you can also look at the other uh, other libraries. If you talk about Angular, Angular Universal is there. React also provides some kind of a support. But when you have this Next.js framework, which is dedicatedly doing that thing, then it is making us, it is making our things more comfortable, right? There is another thing is a Gatsby, right? Gatsby is actually a static site rendering. Now it is enhancing and it is evolving much. So that is also a right, good candidate for server site rendering of your markdown template or some static template. Okay. So here in this video, we are going to talk about these things. Okay. So next this is solution for running react application server side it also makes react development very simple some core features are like okay server side rendering automatic code splitting and lazy loading built-in css support and hot reloading okay these are some of the features of next.js which is providing okay you don't need to plug in a separate node.js server and separate react app and then do the server side rendering you just use next.js and you just need to write a simple react code react components okay and your task is done okay so let's get started from the next video how to write a basic application in node.js sorry in nest.js okay we'll start writing a simple blog and portfolio application in next.js uh, and we'll talk about the routing and all these different aspects